Right, we are in Hennisfair. Hennis. Something like that. Um, Hennis, Hennis, feel, feel, feel. Um, we're on our way to do a hike but the weather is changing slightly so we'll see how we go in the next hour but we've just stopped by this beautiful little bay to have a quick look and check out the colour of the water here it's just wow beaches here are pretty nice from what we've seen like white sand beautiful colored waters a little bit chilly but kind of everything there's a few people on that beach there's a tiny beach there but this one is pretty much empty you've got the road the main road that runs all the way um, sort of from top to bottom of the Lofoten Islands that carries on here but I mean the view is incredible isn't it from it's actually really nice it's not as cold as the lake i don't think So this is the other little bay and this one hasn't got any seaweed. This is so pretty and look at that. Mountains all around you, these stunning rocks, these rocks which look like, I don't know, they're just really good looking rocks. It's like <laughs> the rocks and well, everything about it is like something from a movie set, isn't yeah. it? We keep saying that to each other everywhere we go driving through and stuff it does look just something like out of king kong or some prehistoric totally or... totally so the boys are both exhausted after a run on the beach so they're going to be asleep for the rest of the day probably um we got to the start of the trailhead and it started raining and it's completely clouded over so decided that we're going to give it a miss for today hopefully it's going to be all right first thing tomorrow so we just parked up i'm going to get on with some editing and sarah is it, making some weird mash i'm attempting to make banana bread in the ridge monkey bananas the more ripe the better I'm really mashing just two in this size bowl i'm hoping if i fill this bowl with mixture that would be the right amount to fit into the ridge monkey Sorry, Dad, I just noticed one of Dizzy's hairs <laughs> on the end of my nose. nose. They Diz literally get everywhere. Dizzy's hairs get everywhere. By the way, I haven't tried this. I've made banana bread before, but I haven't done it in the Ridge Monkey. We'll see how it turns out. Could be a banana biscuit, could be a banana cookie. Who knows what? But hopefully, by mixing it in the one bowl, it can be replicated if it works out all right. Yes. Next, sugar. Or maybe not replicated. About that much sugar. <laughs> Next up is the oil. So I've got some sunflower oil and I'm just going to do about that much. Now she's just going to give it a stir. <laughs> about that much. That much. So for the flour, that's how much we've got with two bananas, a bit of sugar, a bit of oil and about that much flour and I'm also <laughs> it's gonna be a miracle if this turns out right and I'm also going to put like a little sort of half sachet of baking powder Wow this is looking like a quite good consistency um, and then we've been into our little pantry 
And we have some um, lane scenes, are they? Or toasted sesame? Toasted sesame. Any sort of little seeds you've got, throw some of those in. About... That many? That was quite a lot of little seeds. And just to add some texture, we're going to add some sultanas because that's what we have in the van. That many? Or no, two? that many! <laughs> So now just really give that a good mix round. And you know what? I would add some um, cinnamon. I reckon that would be really good with banana bread, but we don't have any, so we won't be adding any. So this is it. This is the mixture. This is all we're gonna put in. Chuck this in that Ridge Monkey, like nice and even, the whole mixture. Shut the lid and hope for the best. As is van life, we are not actually on very level ground the van is a little bit like that so the cake may be a little bit thicker one side than the other that's my side <laughs> but yes this i'm just doing on the lowest possible setting on this gas stove and um probably leave it for about 10 minutes and then just turn it over and cook it again that's the plan no idea how this is going to work out let's keep our fingers crossed and hope for the best Good. It's all about the flipping it at the right time, isn't it? Really? You're not going to look in there? Well, no, because I think if it is a bit stuck, then it might just come off, you know. I don't think... I'm, should I peek? I'll peek. I think I'm just going to leave it. We'll just leave it now for about another seven or eight minutes and have a little peek. Wow, professional that. I'm really, really happy. And did you see how I got that? You didn't see how I got that out then. That was good as well with the Ridge Monkey. So the cake, the bread was in the Ridge Monkey, put the wire rack on top and then just flip it over. And then it's like that, isn't it? And then it's easy to just get out. Wow. I'm just learning new skills every day in this van, aren't I? And it's kind of, see it's kind of sponging back. Mm. I'd say that that's cooked if it sponges back. I mean, it looks delicious. It smells delicious. It's gonna taste delicious. I'm excited. Let's leave it to cool down. Right. It's properly cooled down now so we're going to sample this banana bread and we're going to be 100% <laughs> honest <laughs> with how it tastes. As she holds a knife to my face. <laughs> <laughs> oh feels good with a cut. Looking wow, good inside. Look that does look good. Oh it's nice and spongy, quite thick. Mmm. That is delicious. That's nice, really spongy, isn't it? It's actually really good. I'm sorry, but I don't want to blow me in trumpet, but that is some seriously good banana bread mm. in that Ridge Monkey. I'll try and like make it again and measure the ingredients so I can tell you in the future exactly how to put it, just in case you haven't got like that exact same plastic blue bowl. It's amazing that is, Alan. If you watch it, back in slow motion you can see exactly how much I put in <laughs> you don't need an oven in a van you just need one of these yeah that is perfectly well baked banana bread if you haven't got one of these check the link in our description and order yourself one because they're absolutely brilliant multi-purpose can do so many things in it I know honestly that is so good isn't it that's just made you you made your own bread vegan banana bread there you go simple Just driven down 
across a number of causeways and bridges to Hennings of a, oh, slipping on the rocks. Pronounced completely incorrectly, but it's a crazy little place. Loads of little islands joined up by little bridges, very remote. Over that way, you've got stunning views as the Lof Lofoten Islands continue behind me is back to the mainland, those awesome cliffs which you're hopefully going to walk up in a minute and this crazy remote football pitch which the dogs absolutely loved. Oh, this is so good! Now the weather here is so off and on and today it's looking good so we need to head to those cliffs to do that hike. There's a, a good selection of berries here. There's at least three different types. A couple of them are poisonous. Or oh, we don't know they're poisonous, they probably are. And then there's one that we know about that we can eat. So which ones have you been eating? <laughs> so, so these ones here are uh, non-edible and yeah these are all non-edible the, they're all non-edible don't they? yeah <laughs> I think we are definitely going to have to come back to Norway and bring a tent because I just love You've just got this natural mattress of all this lovely spongy moss You don't need to bring a mat to sleep in yeah. You can just put your tent somewhere like this and have the best night's sleep ever This is our peak for the day and it's not a bad view from up here. Over there is the town of Hennesfair with the football stadium where the dogs were being all cute this morning and rolling around on that astroturf grass. get over coming here when you just as far as you can see just mountains yeah yeah well you look over to the mainland and it's just jagged rocks all the sorry mountains not rocks jagged mountains all the way as far as you can see and then the more north you look at the, the more white the more snow you get on the tops but it's crazy you know when you're a kid and you draw mountains and it's just like that on a horizon sort of thing that's how it is that's i was quite whole... good at drawing mountains yeah because it's just a little zigzag line isn't yeah. it like a lifeline but just all of, it's just awesome it's just outstanding definitely worth doing some of these hikes and mm. getting up here because you know if you don't do these hikes then you don't get to see these views do you there's only so much you can see from the road i know everyone's not into hiking but you know you've got to at least do a couple of easy ones if you come and just get some of these crazy outstanding views and the good thing is you don't have to hike for very long before you get an awesome view because yeah. most of them are fairly steep. So even if you didn't do the whole hike, you just do 15 or 20 minutes to get a fabulous view and then you could just turn around and go back. I just love nature. I think we've just spotted this little trunk here on our way back down the mountain and look how cool that is it looks like it's been varnished doesn't it it's okay. amazing and like you can see the bark i don't know this might be a bit boring but it's not i think it's really interesting but the bark up there dead bark has just come off and then it's layers and this bark's all come off here and then you're just left with this amazing shiny like varnished trunk of like a kind of what color is that like a ma mahogany color yeah. isn't it different shades different, different shades, shades of, of mahogany Beautiful. It's brilliant. 
I do love going to cities, but nature is just awesome. You know, you don't have to climb to the peak of a mountain. Just like all, all over the ground, I've said before, all the moss and then the bracken and and just the, it's just so good. And then, the, yeah, the bark, this like, this light cheese, lychee? Light cheese? Light it's cheese. like a fungus type thing, fungus. isn't it? Yeah. And just the natural patterns and We haven't are... been smoking anything, by no, the way. No, we don't smoke. This is just how we are. Just appreciating the little things in yeah. life. and. You can see how designers and stuff get their ideas for creating these, you know, patterns for houses and yeah, whatnot. Furniture. Cool. Anyway, scramble back down the mountain. We were just saying on the way down that we haven't been to anywhere quite like Norway before. It's in its own right, the most mountainous place we've ever visited. Um, New Zealand was probably the closest to this kind of scenery that we've seen before, but not as, as concentrated. So as you can see on this bit, Climbing up here or finding the right path up was a little bit tricky because these big boulders here, it's it's hard to know where the path is. There's very faint blue arrows on these rocks, but it was a bit tricky. And this is why we're glad we didn't bring the boys as well because the boys would have struggled. And you know you don't want to lose your dog in between a couple of boulders, do you now? <laughs> As always, hey. I hope you've had a nice sleep ready for your next big hike. <laughs> well, there's nothing like being back at home in the van with me babies, crunching up an apple together. They always get a little treat, don't they, when we get back? Yeah, and today it's these lovely, sweet, tasty apples. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and hit that like button below. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, then please do and keep the comments coming because we absolutely love to hear from you. And we'll see you in the next video.